Let's talk about the thyroid a little bit. Can you just explain why we have one? What's the role in the body? Well, the thyroid gland is located right near the Adam's apple, mm -hmm. and it produces one teaspoon of thyroid hormone every single year. One teaspoon, that's it. And so it's in every cell of the human body. And it's, it's what gasoline is to an engine. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if you've ever driven one of those cars from the 70s or 80s where you get water in the gas, and you know the car just doesn't run right, right? Mm -hmm. It just puts along, or the battery starts to drain, or an alternator goes bad. The car is just not going to run right. It's the same thing with the human body. So if you don't get thyroid hormone inside the cells and the tissues, the body just doesn't run right. So it, it's what gasoline is to an engine. It runs the entire body. And we hear a lot about stress when we talk about the thyroid. What does stress do to that organ? Well, stress stress is a pretty big word. Yeah. Uh, and if we looked at stress, we can probably just pinpoint stress to all the causes of, of all the different health problems we have. Stress is mental, emotional, it's biochemical, and it's physical. Um, but if we really just focus down to stress and what stress does to the human body, you know, it creates cortisol. You know, uh, the body has two glands that sit on top of the adre or on top of your kidneys called the adrenal glands. So the body goes underneath stress. The body doesn't know what's happening. You know, years ago, we were under physical stressors, right? You know, back, we always refer to this as the caveman days mm -hmm. when we're trying to hunt or gather, we're trying to find our food, and all of a sudden we get approached by animals, and we either have to, to fight or we have to run, and that's when the adrenal glands kick in. So it helps the body produce energy really, really quickly. So that's when you hear about these stories of people lifting up cars. Well, sometimes it does happen because they get this, this norepinephrine and epinephrine circulates to the body, blood sugar goes up, so you can, you can move and you can think and react. But when we're under stress every single day from work, from family life, you name it, driving to work, mm -hmm. the body is constantly producing cortisol. And when these levels of cortisol start to drop, so if you're under stress for a prolonged period of time, and all of a sudden these levels start to drop, your body cannot convert thyroid hormone. It actually blocks it from your body using it. So when you're under stress, your body just can't use thyroid hormone. Mm -hmm. And again, that stress could be, it could be physical, it could be biochemical, or it could be mental and emotional.